Hello. Now we're going to get ready for dinner. So we are doing stuffed acorn squash. So Jack's over there chopping up um, sausage. And I am going to chop up some apples. We're going to do a little bit of prep work and then we'll be back to put everything together after it's all cooked. But so I'm going to chop up some apples for him. With fall being here, squash is a really, really good thing to be able to eat. And it's healthy for you and it's tasty and why not, right? So we're going to do four of the squash today. Get some apples with bad spots on them. Just cut the bad spots out and use them anyway. So I want to talk to you guys about something. So um, I just found a bad spot. Sorry, guys. Um, if you watch Chelsea's channel too, she addressed it last night a little bit about. Um, the food shortages and, and things that are coming up like that you're missing from baking and you're going to be missing a lot of things. And she also talked about the food bank. I do fi follow Carolina who does food bank hauls and she shows how to preserve things and to cook things and to do all that stuff with the food. I think this should be enough apples if you want to dump that in there. So... I've been talking about it, and Jack's agreed to let me talk about it. Jack is on a fixed income, and so he does get food stamps, but they don't last as long as they used to do the Jack. No. Um, so I've been taking him to the food bank. Um, they have drive through ones here in, in Michigan, and they also have ones that you can go and pick things out. We went yesterday, and honestly, or the other day, Tuesday, I guess. Yeah. And they had next to nothing. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys, you know, even if it's only five cans a week, try to do something that is, you know, building up a pantry so that your family can be provided for. It's a very scary time, and you don't want your kids to go hungry, or your grandkids, or anything for that matter. So what the question is, would you guys like to see a few recipes that we can make with the things that he gets from the food bank. Like the apples today was from the food bank. Um, we got tomatoes for him the other day, so he didn't. He wasn't going to use them up, so I actually dehydrated them. And later we can put them in soups or we can make them into tomato powder, whatever. I do not let him get anything that he gets. I don't let go to waste, do we, Jack? Nope. I don't believe in wasteful food. So, if you'd like to see a couple recipes from that, let me know. And if you do need help and you you know you're food insecure, or whatever, please contact churches or your local food bank, or go online. We see people with amazing cars get in line, and it's not just people that are on food stamps anymore. It's people, the working people, they just can't afford their groceries. So, that said, next to go on. So the acorn squashes, what I do with those is the very bottom, if you notice some of them are peaky, I cut off the very bottom so that it'll stay straight. I don't like chopping these because they take forever to chop, but anyway. So you want to chop them in half. I do it this way. I got a good deal on these when I went up north the other day. And so Jack's gonna have squash. I'm gonna check our cookies, Jack. Well, that one's kinda crooked, but that's okay. And then they come with the big seeds in it. So you're gonna scrape the seeds out. Another color line. Ooh, those look good. Yeah. You guys will see another thing that we did for the rattle in today. So you're going to scrape those seeds out. Actually, I'm going to ask Chelsea how I save seed save these because I have no clue. 
So can I have a paper plate, Jack, and we'll put the seeds on them for now. <coughs> now, normally I'd put it right in the oven, but um, we have cookies in there right now, so we have to wait till those are done. I wish I had the big fancy kitchen that's got lots of ovens and everything, but that's not the case. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so what I do is, can you hand me the salt and pepper too, Jack, please? I put just a tiny bit. You can use butter or you can use olive oil, whatever you happen to want it to be. And I put it inside of here. And then I salt and pepper it. Now, you could stuff it and cook it like that, but I want to make sure that it's nice and soft when I eat it. I don't want it to be all crumbly in your mouth and everything. So I do that, and then I cook it about halfway through. And then um, I fill them. So like I say, Jack's got, you want to show him what you got over there, Jack? Bring that pot over here. He's got apples and sausage. And actually, I'm going to chop up a few, um, I think those are pecans, aren't they? I think so. And I'm going to grind up some a few pecans, and we're going to put that in there, too. This is my own concoction. It's not yeah. something that, yeah, it'll be all right. It's not something I got off the Internet. It's just my own concoction. So <laughs> we'll be back when we get all this prep done and get these cooked down so that we can actually fill things in. All right, so we're back. Now, all the squash is out of the oven. It's three quarters of the way cooked, and we've added our um, mixture to it. So what we end up using is sausage, pecans, apples, and we did use some um, of the, uh, the stuffing mix because we didn't think it'd be enough to stuff everybody's, all of these. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back in the oven, and it'll take probably 15 or 20 minutes and then I will be back so that Tom can taste it. You gonna say goodbye, Jack? Bye. Well, I'll see you in a few minutes, guys. All right, so there's his dinner. I took the skin all off of it. So there's a squash and stuffing. Hmm, that's really good. Now try the Delectica squash, that, the singular pieces of it over in the corner. Oh, yeah. No, that's pineapple. Oh, yeah. Yes, I made Delectica squash, too. That's really good. And then I have home canned um, pineapple. You can try that, too. Look at how many men get their um, the skins and everything taken right off their squash. Not too many. You must be spoiled. I am spoiled. So is it Kahuna approved? Kahuna approved. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day and be a blessing. Say goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom.